What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are checking out the all new Grindhouse Dine IR pack from Two Notes Audio. Let's do it. All right guys, hope you're having a great day out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle. And what I typically do is I take all sorts of high gain related guitar equipment. I record it with a simple process, a simple setup, something. I don't even remember my own taglines at this point. I already filmed this video once and it disappeared into thin air, so we're doing it again. And I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. But today we're gonna kind of dive into some stuff that's a little bit out of my wheelhouse because Two Notes Audio have released a brand new Dyn IR pack. Now, I have already reviewed a bunch of the Dyn IR packs here on my channel. Some of them are actually ones that I use in my like regular recording process now because I really, really dig them. Both of the angles, Sig, Sinister, Signature, Slimmy, Slammy, Swami, Samsonite. I was way off, but you get what I'm trying to say. The 55, the 77, those impulse response packs are fantastic. So. When Two Notes reached out to me to check out another new one that sounded like it was in the metal realm, of course, I was gonna say yes. But upon actually diving into this impulse response pack, there is a lot of really obscure and really rare speakers I've never heard of, never come across before, and speakers that sound really different, like really, really different, really unique, some bad, some good, but I think that that's kind of the point. I think that this impulse response pack is meant to be something that you would supplement to your normal impulses, your normal workflow for recording as awesome blender speakers that are gonna give you a really unique tone or even as like an effects type speaker, something that's gonna give you just an effect for a part of a song that's gonna make something uh, really stand out. Uh, you know, that's just my opinion. Nothing in the literature says that, so I could be completely off base, but it's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this pack. But before we get too far into this video, I do want to let you guys know that Two Notes have sponsored this video. They are paying me to check out this Dyn IR pack here with you guys on the channel. So feel free to take what I say with a massive grain of salt, but as always, I wanted to be open and transparent with you guys, and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts and opinions as I always do, so keep that in mind. I almost knocked my mic over. All right guys, so for that intro clip, I was using a good old PV6505 into my Two Notes captor, going into the Two Notes wall of sound software, and the impulse responses of this Dyn IR pack that I utilized for that intro track were kind of the, the responses that I felt were more closely catered to things that I was already used to. I mean, there is a Vintage 30 loaded Randall cab in this pack, so that was kind of like the first thing I gravitated towards. We're gonna now dive into the stuff that's really kind of obscure and really honestly does not sound like anything else in my own personal cab and speaker collection or any of my impulse responses. So for today's demo, I am going to be playing my Schecter E1 here with a Seymour Duncan Black winner in the bridge. And again, we are going into my PV6505 into a Two Notes captor. Over here on my desktop, I do have Two Notes Wall of Sound software pulled up, and currently we have the Grindhouse Nemesis 4x12 Vintage Cab. So, as you guys can probably guess from the title here, this is our Vintage 30 Loaded Cabinet. Now, I've got a little cheat sheet over here to review some of the info on each one of these with you guys because uh, this was kind of a last minute video. I didn't get a chance to really like memorize a lot of this info. And if we're being 100% honest, my memory is absolute hot garbage. So I would probably need this regardless of whether I had time to do it or not. So again, this first impulse that we have pulled up here, or this first cabinet that we have pulled up here is a V30 loaded Randall cab. So through a 6505, this should sound right at home for most of the people who view my channel. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so they start us off on the Sennheiser 906, but we're gonna go over to that SM57 because this is gonna be familiar territory for everybody out there watching. <laughs> We are slightly off the center of that dust cap there, and that sounds like a 57 on a V30 if I've ever heard one before. Little bright, very cutting, got some of that top end fizz. Let's move over to the 414. Another staple in the high gain guitar cab miking world. Of course, we already checked out the 906. This one, a condenser mic, the Gem 2. Not sure what this is modeled off of in real life. Pretty bright for a condenser. Moving over to the VR ribbon mic. I'm gonna guess this is the SE Electronics VR ribbon one. Ooh, that would be a great microphone to blend with the SM57 if you were gonna combine two different impulses because that is nice and smooth and fat and I feel like that would kind of fill out that 57 sound really well. I actually just bought a pair of these mics in real life and this makes me even more excited to use them now. Moving on, we've got a 421. <laughs> Everybody knows what a 421 sounds like. That's another staple. Here's an 87, probably a Neumann. Again, that would be a nice blender with the 57, the 121, absolute classic here. Okay, so this, even for a Vintage 30 loaded cab, this is on the bright side. So if you need a brighter Vintage 30 impulse, uh, this cab is definitely gonna bring that for you. And that is all of the mics cycled through, and I believe that they are the same across all the cabs. So now we know what mics we're working with. Let's move on to the next cab. Next cab is the 39er 412 Pitbull, and this is based off of a VHT cabinet with the P50E speakers in them. That sounds very much like a P50E. It is a speaker that I do not like very much, and I actually own one of the Deliverance cab with the P50Es in them. They have this kind of hollow mid-range thing going on. They're a little bit fizzy up top, and uh, you know, even though I don't like the speaker, I feel like this cab kind of nails it. But when I was testing this out, chesting? When I was testing this out, uh, the 906 actually was working pretty well on this speaker. <laughs> Gives it a little bit more open top end, not quite as upper mid forward, and it just seemed to kind of level the speaker out a little bit. Let's move on to that gem. I feel like that's really bringing that hollow mid thing out. Last but not least, let's try that 121. Again, the P50E is not a speaker that I personally love. I know a lot of people who do like the VHT stuff like the P50E. Uh, I will say that they have captured it accurately here though. It definitely sounds just like miking up my cab downstairs. Moving on, we have the Trendkill 412 Tech. So this is actually a crank Dimebag Daryl cab. I have never played one of these cabs in real life before. I know that they are kind of made out of uh, solid wood. At least I think most of them were like solid pine, I believe is what they made these out of. All right, so he had the Texas Eminence Heat. What? I said that way backwards. <laughs> he had the Eminence Texas Heat speakers loaded into his custom cabs from Crank. So that's what we got going on here. Here it is with the 57. <laughs> That is very Eminence. Uh, if you guys have ever played Eminence speakers before, they have a little bit of a signature thing going on, kind of just like Celestians do. And let's try that 906 again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that might be my favorite tone out of this pack so far. That 906 complements that eminent speaker like perfectly. It really levels it out. All 
All right, so sounding good there. I actually really, really like that. Um, let's try one. Let's try that ribbon mic again and we'll move on. Glad to see that on there. You don't really see any crank impulse response packs. Uh, at least I haven't. Uh, so that's kind of a unique one for the high gain guys out there. Let's move on to the next cab. This is where we start getting weird, okay? So we have the Grindhouse Warning 412 Smoker Cab. Never heard of warning cabinets in my life, but apparently this is like an exceptionally tall 4x12 cab, and it's loaded with some sort of weird speaker. I gotta go back and look again. All right, so this has the Eminence Cannabis Rex speakers, uh, another speaker that I have never tried for myself. Let's go back to that 57, so we're in familiar territory with the microphone at the very least. Wow, yeah, that is a very odd sounding speaker to my ear. Very, like it's got a lot of like upper mid presence, got quite a bit of fizz to it. Let's try a different mic though. Let's go back, that ribbon, I've been liking that, uh, that Voodoo VR1 ribbon on pretty much every impulse so far. That sounds like a completely different speaker. That mic really reacted well to that speaker. It's actually pretty cool. I like that one. Let's uh let's pull it a little bit back towards the center. Very unique sound if it is something you're looking for. Let's move on to the Lava 415. This is an old Marshall cab with again those G15M speakers, which I'm pretty sure are like a 15 inch greenback. Okay, that, yeah, I mean, it definitely sounds like a greenback, but more low end, more low mids. Let's hit it with the 421, because the 421 is very familiar with greenbacks. What happens if we turn that link on? All right, so let's actually try panning this one far left, far right. And let's actually throw the 121 on. All right, didn't like it as much as I thought. Let's try doing the... Could be a cool combo. I think I'd like to play with the panning a little bit, but yeah, definitely doesn't sound bad by any means. Let's put this back in the center here and let's move on to the next cab. That, that Marshall 15 inch uh, greenback, pretty cool. Blackbird 215 Origin cab. This is the one that has the Vox speakers in it, 15 inch Vox speakers. I think this is definitely gonna be for the clean guys. This does not sound like a cab that does very well under high gain. <laughs> All right, uh, take that back. The 421 sounds okay. Let's go back to the 57. All right, so maybe I stand corrected there. It actually has kind of a cool sound. All right, next up we have the Blue Steel 112 Special. All right, so this cab actually, if I recall, is made out of metal. Yeah, this is an all metal cabinet uh, with a Gentian, Gentian, a Gentian Special Design C12N. <laughs> That one definitely brings the bite. Um, let's move on to the next cab. That's actually kind of cool. I, I don't hate that one. 
this is the Quicksilver. This is another all metal cabinet. And this one I believe is loaded with an Altec Lansing speaker. Never heard this speaker before. <laughs> That is really crisp, really bright, but not in like a ultra harsh type way. I actually think that that's pretty cool sounding. If we were to uh, pull some of our amp settings down, like the presence and the treble might even out quite a bit and sound really cool. But even as, as is here, I do not hate it. Next up, we have the Relic 112 Vintage. This is another V30 loaded cab and a custom grindhouse enclosure. So they built this enclosure themselves. <laughs> Looks like it's ported, so that's pretty interesting. Um, V30 and a 112 ported cab, not something you see too often. I know Mesa does it, um, but it sounds a little bit like kind of far away almost, a little bit hollow and not as punchy on the low end as I would have thought, but that could have to do with the porting. <laughs> and how they have the porting tuned, but the 906 sounds pretty good. <laughs> sounds pretty good, but let's move on from that because that's just a vintage 30 loaded cab. Here is one that's a little bit more interesting. This has a slush in G12Ls, but the same enclosure. <laughs> Actually really like that that's got a nice uh, kind of flatter mid response going on for sure it's nice and crunchy I dig that one, the G12L, for sure, I like that. I think that this is the last one, and this is the 118 Origin. This has an 18-inch speaker in it. It is a Mac 118 with original spec coaxial drivers. No idea what that means, here we go. That was not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting it to sound a little fatter, a little darker. All right, so 57, it's it's a lot brighter than I was expecting. Let's pull it off center a good bit. It's got a lot of fizz going on. Now it just sounds a little bit phasey. Let's try a different microphone. Let's try that 414. Again, a really cool speaker if you're looking for something unique to blend with something like a Vintage 30, a Greenback, a DV77 for the high gain thing and kind of carve out your own really unique tone. Um, there are a lot of really unique sounding speakers on here. And again, ones that I might not necessarily use as my primary tone, probably wouldn't use most of these as my primary tone, but as a cool blender to give your guitar uh, some character that stands out from a lot of the other stuff that's out there. Or there are a couple of speakers here, especially with certain microphone selections. I feel like you could kind of use it almost as like an effect if you just wanted a small part of your song to have a really weird uh, maybe even like an out of phase or just a guitar tone that really stands out from the rest of the song and kind of draw attention to it I think that there are a few different options in here that could do that for you so yeah that's gonna do it for me today guys on the all-new grindhouse dyn IR pack from Two Notes Audio. I'm gonna link to this down in the description. As of today, these are available. You can get them directly from Two Notes. Uh, I believe you can buy them from Sweetwater. So if you would uh, like to help the channel, you can hit that affiliate link and take a look at these things. That's what she said. But for real, if they're for sale on Sweetwater, you wanna pick them up. If you guys hit that affiliate link, it greatly helps the channel. It's one of the best things you can do to help the channel, in fact and I would really appreciate it. Quick shout again to Two Notes for sponsoring this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. I am curious about your thoughts though. Leave them in the comments down below. I'll meet you guys down there to talk about it. As always, do you guys think I was way off base in my assessment here? Or do you see some really unique offerings that you guys could use? Excited to see what you guys thought. Thanks so much for watching. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant.
There we go.